Hello, Rio. <clears throat> Excuse me, and welcome to your weekly love quickie. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for your likes and subscribes. I've reached over 500 subscribers. So thank you so much for helping. And well, thank you for being here. I'm really appreciate it. Okay, so these are the angel or the, um, I'm sorry, angel answer cards. That was too many. I'll take a couple, but three or four is just too much. This card either answers whatever question you have at the end of the reading, pardon me, or it becomes a part of the reading. Okay, but we don't look at it till the very end. Wow, okay. So I did shuffle these cards prior to beginning the uh, video. These are the Romance Angel cards. So, whoa. Well, Leo, I'm going to take it. You got two. You're the first to get two. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. And I always point out he's a little kid. And you look at he's climbing over this big old wall just to give her a big old smooch on her cheek. It's adorable. It's a very cute picture. So maybe it's about breaking barriers. Oh, I put this backwards. Sorry. <laughs> And I think in today's day and age, there's so much to be said for, you know, I think that so many people are doing things differently. It's the age of Aquarius. It's a whole new outlook, a new way of doing a lot of things. Oh, I love this. Playfulness to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And isn't it funny? We have play like a child and then we have make the effort being shown by children. I want to say that this is almost like saying, just be yourself. Don't be guarded. Don't worry about what you do, what you say, how you run, whatever it is. Just be yourself and enjoy the moment with whoever you're with. You know? Because there's something here. And I have to say that, you know, they say, they always talk about, and there is a card that says attraction. It talks about enjoying the moment. Because when you enjoy the moment, Leo... You know, others enjoy watching you enjoy the moment. I know it sounds a little weird, but it makes sense to me in my head. So you got a whole bunch of cards, although I hadn't realized just how many. This is the Dark Mansion Tarot. You got the Emperor. Now, it could be um, the Emperor is related to like a grandparent, like a, a grandfather figure, you know, kind of staunch. Um, sticking to tradition. Uh, he's not very warm and fuzzy. So I almost want to say, judging by your beginning cards, is that uh, maybe this is you. Not that you're a grandparent. You could be a grandparent. But that maybe this is talking about you have traditionally done what you are supposed to. Whatever your generation says. Like if you are my generation, you know, or the generation before, you're, you're very, uh, whatever the normal was for where you grew up. I'm trying not to be sexist or come off weird, although it came off weird anyway. <laughs> Yay, <laughs> sorry. The Six of Wands. The Six of Wands in the traditional deck is the victor, you know, he is the, the, He's been to war, he's back on his horse, and he's got a celebratory wreath he's carrying, or he has on his sword. But it's a celebration, and in this one, it's not just a celebration, it's a marriage celebration. Hmm. So I almost want to say that you, you are traditionalist, or you are traditional in some way. But that this is calling, maybe with all the lockdown stuff, it's made you rather, I don't know, uninterested? Or it's been very hard to do a lot of fun things because so many things are closed. Justice could mean that one of you are involved in the law, whether you are a police officer, a lawyer, a court clerk, whatever it is could also have to do with a Libra because of the scales, but they are balanced. 
could mean also that you are dealing with something in the legal system because of the sword here and the balance. It's about making just decisions. So maybe, ha, now this changes things a bit when you think about it because maybe you've been making decisions as the emperor and this is talking about learning to balance and to have fun. The Ace of Swords, this is a win. And it's so funny because I just noticed the sword here. So I have a suspicion that you are going to have some kind of big win with your person because you are looking to find balance and you're making a decision. You're deciding that, you know, I'm not going to be the emperor anymore. I'm going to be more, you know, decisive, which is really good because you got the seven of cups. The seven of cups is too many options, like trying to have a, like figure out what to do. Like, do I do this? Do I do that? Do I do this? Do I do that? You know, and maybe you have had a lot of love options and maybe that's what this is talking about with the seven of cups. Maybe you've had too many people to decide from. So I would say your decision comes from who do you have fun with? Who is more playful with you? That doesn't mean that you ignore the person who's successful and not as playful. It's whatever works for you, Leo. But I think that you are going to make a really good decision about who you want or who you want to be involved with. But it's not going to be an easy decision. So let's see here. Your angel answer oracle card is success. Look at that. Yeah. So uh, I would have to say that this card makes me say that whoever you decide on, whatever relationship you decide to involve yourself in, it is a win. And after seeing the success card paired with the six of wands, I have to say that there is a possibility that this is a person you will live with and possibly marry. So, wow, <laughs> this is awesome. Leo, good luck. Looks like a great week. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you know when I release new videos. Thanks, Leo. Bye.